So it's been about a year since I've made a video talking about how I specifically pack my gear for travel, photography, and cinematography gigs. And there's no better time than now. What's good everybody? For those of you guys who are new to my channel, my name is Sydney Baker Green. I'm an international photographer and cinematographer. And if you can't tell by the title of what I do, travel is a big part of my work. And over the years, I have really formulated a method knowing which gear I know I'm going to need to take on a shoot by shoot basis. But for one thing, I know I do not like to take a lot of gear with me. Now that being said, I also don't have a lot of gear. So all of the gear that goes with me is the gear that I use normally on all of my shoots. Shoots. I just have a specific means of really making sure that these items get to the destination safely. That way I'm not getting there with any broken gear or anything like that. So I'm going to take you guys through the practical steps on how you can get from point A to point B with your gear safely and more specifically how I do it. Now my packing doesn't start with my camera bag. It actually starts with my suitcase and I have opted to use the level eight elegance diamond surface suitcase at 24 inches because it's going to be able to carry the longer things I need need like my tripod. Now, the reason I'm actually head over heels in love with this suitcase specifically is because of its rigid hard shell. They call it diamond surface, but a lot of us know that more as polycarbonate or composite materials. Composite materials are used on actually our most trusted means of transportation, which is aviation. The Boeing 787 is made completely of composite materials because it's lighter than aluminum, but it's just as strong, which means my gear is going to be safe traveling from point A to point B. So the things that normally go in my suitcase are simple. It's going to be things like stands that I know I'm going to need if I'm going to be using lights that I'm going to rent to take to destinations because I never travel with my studio lights. It's just too much of a risk for me. I would rather rent those and get those lights while I'm there, have them delivered to my hotel or to a UPS store like a day before I get there. That way I know I'm not risking my own expensive equipment that's here in my studio. But the things that do travel with me in my suitcase, again, are things like my stands. It's going to be things like my tri iPod, I know I put that in there, and my 70 to 200 f 2.8 L lens also goes in my suitcase and just any other gear that I know I'm not going to need on me while I'm traveling. Because you guys know I like to vlog sometimes when I travel, so the majority of my photo gear, and of course I'm going to want to take photos on the airplane, and that's going to be in my camera bag. But if I, for example, say I need an underwater case on my trip or something like that, I'm not going to put that in my camera bag because there's just no need for that. So with this suitcase, it definitely makes sure that all my gear is protected as I'm traveling. And the nice part is are the wheels. This suitcase, I mean, I've never felt a suitcase that moves like this. My grandma actually told me that when she saw my luggage, she was a little bit disappointed in me and she felt bad for me because I was traveling with an old suitcase. And I mean, this new suitcase now that I have, just push it across the floor. It does 360 spins, it moves by itself, and it's an awesome travel companion to have. And if you know me, I walk through the airport like I'm in a parade. So I'm always able to switch directions on the fly, which is nice. And I really don't feel like I have added weight, even though I have all of my gear in there. And from a travel standpoint, and you know, you don't want to have to drop coin on baggage fees or anything like that, the suitcase is already really light. So on top of your clothes and your camera gear, you're gonna have a little bit more leeway than something that's made out of a heavier material, like some of the away luggages out there. And again, we do have polycarbonate options out there. This just happens to be my go-to. It also comes with a lifetime warranty and it's minimalistic design really just kind of speaks to who I am, not only in the way that I carry my gear, but kind of the way I dress my fashion, who I am as a person. Now on to my camera bag. If you guys have known me, I have been a long lover of Vinta camera bags. Ever since their Kickstarter came out, I have been all about their bags. I actually worked for them for a while under contract, creating content for them. If you look on their Instagram, you'll see that some of the shots taken there are mine. And I'm not saying I like their bags because they paid me to work for them. I'm saying I like their bags because of the way they look and the functionality I have found with them going from home to airport, airport to hotel, and then putting the bag in my 
car and taking just out the modular section, which is just a little travel case that can go in the bag as well, and then go with me on a shoe. But my 35 and my 50 millimeter lenses are gonna go on the side of that bag, and then my 85 millimeter is gonna go right in the top, and then where I place my drone remote and my 5D Mark III is generally where the 1DX Mark II would go, and this just show you guys how much space I have in here. I can also put my drone at the top and really fill out my bag. I have a lot of leeway depending on exactly what I'm going to need. Again, if I'm not taking my drone with me in my just my backpack, I'm gonna put that in my suitcase so I can put my 1DX Mark II in there, keep my Gorilla Pod on the side where I would put my mouse or something like that because I have two pockets for that. So the Gorilla Pod can go on one side and then I'm gonna be able to put my 16 to 35 right in the top, have all my gear on me as I'm going through the airport knowing it is safe and sound. Now, you might have noticed that I said I shoot majority of my work with prime lenses and none of my primes are image stabilized, which means if I'm going on a video gig, I am going to need to bring stabilization with me. In this case, it really does benefit me being a man because I only have my backpack as a carry-on item, which you get one for free, but you also get a free personal item. So the other thing I'm going to bring with me onto the airplane if I need to do a video shoot is going to be the Ronin S, which I did not get any shots of, but that is gonna be in its carrying case that it comes with, and I'm just gonna put that either underneath my seat in the overhead bin, and my backpack will go wherever the Ronin S did not, either over the seat, under the seat, or in my overhead bin. That being said, if you are a female creator and you do carry a purse with you, and you would like to take some stabilization rig with you that can count in the size as a personal item like the carrying case of the Ronin S, I highly advise you just to take it through your security checkpoint, be kind, be nice to your gate agent, let them know that you're carrying some expensive equipment, they'll check it for you at the gate, and they will put a fragile sticker on there making sure it gets there safely. I know it's scary putting our expensive gear underneath the airplane, but it is doable, I just choose not to do it. And we all know that one guy who comes out with the Pelican case, which is actually the only thing I will check underneath the plane when I carry the Ronin M with me, taking out the Pelican case and all of their stands and stuff like that, that is just too much for me personally. Lastly, the last things that are gonna go in my camera bag are again, like I said, my mouse, it's going to be my laptop. All in all, everything works together because the Vinted Type 2 Mark II that they have out right now fits on top of my suitcase, so I'm able to just go through the airport with ease, I drop my luggage, and again, everything works out because of how much space I have in this suitcase. I think that's really what helps save me through a lot of my work, is the fact that I'm going to be able to put the stuff that I can't carry in my camera bag in my suitcase. It's surrounded by nice and fluffy clothes, and so I know if the baggage agents throw my stuff around, it's still gonna be fine. I put my Shogun Inferno in there. I put my 70-200 f2.8, and if you know that lens, it's crazy heavy and full of glass and it just came out fine each and every time. So I hope this video gives you some insight into how I pack for my travel gigs and how you can really leverage you know, a nice suitcase to get your gear from point A to point B. As long as you pack it around some nice clothes, you're gonna be solid. If you guys did like this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, share it with a friend who you know travels a lot with their photo gear or just a friend who needs to hear it, and be sure to follow me on my social media. My links are in the description down below as well as my YouTube fam. Their links are also in the description down below. Hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications if you have not, and if you are ever feeling uninspired, uncreative, or just wanna give up on what you do. Remember, every day airplanes take off against the wind. Live, love, laugh, stay inspired, and as always, stay fabulous. My name is City, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.